Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Sibylus Dan channel. My name is Wingless Dragon and today let's talk about OPLs or OP Legends prisons and kind of how to get started. A lot of people in the chat are constantly talking about like, oh, what should I do with enchantments? How should I start? And this will be a guide for those that want to start playing. I wouldn't say predominantly experts in it, but something that will really get them started to really get a hang of it and start learning the mechanics of how Neptune Prison works on OP Legends. So let's get started on that. We'll do a breakdown of kind of what the enchantments are and what's the backpack. And it'll be focused on what enchantments can be used to get yourself started. So let's get going, shall we? Yeah. Now, when you're starting, you're generally gonna have yourself a mine similar to this. This is a little bigger. You'll have it a little bit smaller, but you're gonna have your basic ones. You have the occasional beacons that are come, come up. Today, we're not gonna talk about so much what you need to do to expand on your mind. This is mostly focused on what it is that you need to get moving forward so that your mind can progress faster when you start mining. So when you progress forward, you can get to a point where you've got a pickaxe that can almost take out the whole mine itself, get you extra resources when able to, and so forth. Like now at this point, my pickaxe looks like it's just destroying the mine like butter. And so our goal is to get you the information you need to get to this point. And I'm not even at the highest level yet. So what you just saw right now and how deep I've gotten to my mind, you could be even better than that. So let's break that down right away. So to access your enchantments on your pickaxe, you just have to highlight it. And this will be the same thing as the backpack. And then you right click it. And when you do so, you'll have all of these enchantments that are available and some special enchantments after you've upgraded some of these moving forward. So you'll have some extra ones afterwards, but we're gonna start focusing on this and let's just go in order of what it is. So efficiency, it can go up to 10,000 and it lets you break blocks faster. You've got fortune, gets multiple blocks for every single string. Every five level is one extra block. Haste lets you swing your arm faster. Speed lets you move faster. Dragon burst is what just destroys a whole layer. Uh, for those that are familiar with other prison servers, this could also be considered a variation of Jackhammer as well. Then you got Key Finder, it gives you a chance to get more mine keys. Supply Drops, it gives you a random reward when it's triggered. Scavenger, and this is one we'll, we'll be revisiting, but this gives you a chance of finding efficiency or fortune levels for free. This one's gonna be an important one and we're gonna be talking about this uh, when we get back. Greed, it gives you a chance to get you more money. Orb Greed, this is specific to you getting orbs and orbs is what's needed for you to be able to start moving forward with your enchantments. So this is another one we're gonna be focusing on today. That's gonna to be very important. Boost the chance of getting extra multi uh, with a multiplier with your backpack when selling. Apocalypse Now, it's an ability. It drops zombies and it gets you blocks all the way to bedrock for the whole mine. Beacon Blast, it gives you a chance to spawn extra beacons to get gathered on your mine. So these are all the main enchantments that you need to focus on. Now, now, when you upgrade these up to max, you'll have access to potentially other ones that'll improve on that. So Dragon Boost is something that'll push your Dragon Burst even further, but you need your Dragon Burst to be maxed out. Augment adds a chance to gain uh, additional blocks. This is also once you've reached the max of Fortune. Double Down has a chance to break a block below where you've mined. This again is if you max out Efficiency. Gold Rush, if you max out Speed, gives you a layer of gold that uh, spawns on on the mine and gets you extra blocks when you're mining them. Loot Finder gives you a chance to get loot keys, but again, you need Key Finder to be maxed out. So these are special ones, but we're not gonna be focusing too, too much on this. It's really the starting enchantments that we're gonna go for, but I wanted to cover it just in case. And there's a few other things we'll look into uh, a little bit later, just to be clear. Now, one thing you wanna focus on right off the bat is Scavenger. And that's because Scavenger, I've been letting it get me all of the fortune and all the efficiency, and I've only went up to 300. Scavenger is only useful for as long as you still have room to have free efficiency and fortune, and that's essentially what Scavenger does. As you mine, you have a chance of finding efficiency and fortune, and the sweet spot early on especially is getting it to level 300. So the goal when you start is to aim to get this to 300 while you focus on other things as well, like Orb Greed. Orb Greed is what gets you the Orb 
orbs that you need to upgrade your enchantments. And so this is what you want to focus on as well. Maybe a little bit stronger than scavenger because scavenger will still work even if you put one point in it. Uh, orb greed, you need the multipliers and you need a little bit more to get a little bit higher and you'll end up focusing on this. But the one that you want to get up and running as fast as possible is dragon burst, but within reason. You don't want to neglect the other one. Now, there's all of the other enchantments that'll be useful later and you'll want to focus on them later as well like haste and speed getting them up a little bit will help uh, you out but for the purpose of, of a starting guide for a new new player the three that you want to focus on is scavenger orb greed and dragon burst and sort of in that order in this breakdown for every one scavenger that you're going to spend you should spend five on orb greed so five levels on it and then 10 levels on dragon burst the goal for that is that scavenger as it goes up it's going to get you efficiency and fortune slowly but in a good pace and you'll start getting more and more blocks so that it can start gathering more orbs with the orb greed being uh, increased having orb greed increase Will help you get more orbs and help you upgrade a lot faster and then dragon burst will give you a chance to take care of a whole layer of your mind faster and faster as a level goes up at first you're not really gonna see it trigger as often until you may get to the 1000 mark at 1000 you'll start seeing it kind of take layers out of your mind every couple of seconds every 10 seconds type of things and that's just gonna end up going faster and faster as your levels go up so once again, quick breakdown for every one scavenger that you spend, you want to spend five in orb greed and 10 in dragon's burst. Now you'll see that I'm still at level 300 and my rank's pretty high at this time, but I don't need any more in scavenger more than that. And that's gotten me to the point that I'm at now at 8,500. And I mean, I could probably put orbs in this as well, but it gets expensive for no reason. Like if I was going to put two fortune right now at the level that I'm at for two of them, it would cost me about a million three hundred thousand for two unfortunate or i can mine for a couple of seconds and for how cheap it was to get scavenger these become super easy to gain without it so scavenger basically saves you from spending too many orbs on efficiency and fortune and that's why scavenger is just one of the better enchantments to get right off the bat and you just let that give you all the free efficiency and fortune as things go on so you can focus on orb greed and dragon burst on your own orb greed every five dragon burst every 10 once you are up to 300 or a little bit higher don't worry about scavenger afterwards you can add more if you really really want to if you're really focused on just maximizing this out but i promise you it's not going to make as much of a difference if you just let the scavenger uh, on its own you'll see at 300 it triggers pretty fast anyway getting it higher will just basically make it that every block gives you one as opposed to every other block it, it, it's good but at the end of the day you don't want to spend too much on scavenger because the minute that fortune and efficiency are maxed out scavengers essentially bricked at that point so it's good to spend but don't spend too too much because then it's just more expensive for no reason and you're kind of wasting a bit of your orbs where you could put it into the other ones once you get the 300 on scavenger then you want to shift your focus similar to what you've been doing but basically you just want to do one to two for orb to dragon burst so it's the same thing as before basically every five in orb grade you would do 10 it's the same thing you just don't need to worry about scavenger anymore and go from there and just those basics alone will get you moving really fast on your mind and getting things moving forward well we'll show you a bit of an example so gold rush is what triggers it's one of the abilities you can get later but you'll see that after a while if you just mine normally you're just taking out the layers easily and that's what dragon burst is doing now if you check the chat you'll see orb grade triggering and it, with the dragon burst being combination of getting you multiple orbs orbs at the same time but you'll also see that scavenger is finding me fortune let's see if i can get an efficiency up oh, there's an efficiency and so this is just me mining normally and although i'm at a higher level at this time and this is going a lot faster you're basically just you're going to be taking out mines pretty quickly later on and just those abilities that have been listed is what's going to let you get to this point so just that is going to help you a lot but one thing that you're going to also have to take into consideration is your backpack or more specifically your block pack and that's the next part we're going to be talking about at this time same thing as your pickaxe you want to right click it and you'll see that you have only two options 
you'll have capacity and auto sell. Capacity, basically straightforward. It's how many blocks you can hold. At some point you can max out your block capacity, but right now um, I don't even have it maxed out. I have mine at 848 out of 5,000. That's letting me hold about 7 million blocks. And with all the multipliers, that gives me more than enough. Basically the rule of thumb that I've been going by is that if you max out your backpack when you're mining, take a bit of uh, your orbs and add it to increase the capacity so that you don't have to bother with it too, too much. Essentially, if it can be sold on a regular on its own, once you have auto sell, you shouldn't be having too, too much problems and it should be fine. You can check the capacity here, the remaining space, you can disenchant, but like you're only disenchanting two. And then you can sell whatever's in your backpack at any time and it'll give you a rest, rough estimate as with your rank, how much your blocks are valued on it so there's the basic information for the auto sell you'll see that i've only spent it on level one basically the more you put into this it just lets you auto sell faster and to be honest you only need to sell every minute and a half minute and a bit there's not even that much and this is really not even the most efficient way of doing things this is designed really just if you don't want to think about it put one level just single one level in it it's probably going to cost you ten thousand uh orbs and forget it. It'll sell for you. It'll let you rank up and that's great. There are tactics though on what you should do. And there's a lot more uh, breakdown for that on how to like increase your rank a lot faster. But the long and short of it is that you let your block pack max out. Then you use your money potion. You, you equip your money pet and then you sell at that time and not any time else. But if you're not really wanting to focus, you're really just wanting to enjoy mining, enjoy farming yourself, then um, just just, just put it in auto sell and like let it do its thing. There is min maxing that you can do. If you want that kind of information and more details on what to do and strategies, comment down below, let us know, and we'll be glad to provide that. But this is really just for those that will like really want to start and have a bit of an understanding of what it is that they, they can do to get moving forward on it. And yeah, just auto sell is perfectly fine. And just bulk up your capacity uh, for your block pack every so often when you see that your backpack is being filled faster than your able to get it auto sold and that's basically what you need to focus on and what's needed so orbs are your focus when it comes to enchantments it's what's needed to get all of these working and orb greed is going to be a huge factor for you to get yourself moving forward so yes you want to try to get orb greed working out and you'll notice that per the math i should have gotten dragon burst maxed out at the same time as orb greed and that's actually my bad um and a lot of people that i've spoken with are like no you should have had dragon burst and orb read at the same time upgraded so don't do what i did you get a lot more out of it if you do sort of an even split but even if you don't just then gives you the chance to then make sure that you are upgrading everything that you can with dragon burst uh from my understanding every 500 for orb greed is what triggers the multiplier that you can get when dragon burst triggers and just kind of the bonuses that you get from orb greed and then dragon burst the more that you get i think also every 500 uh or a thousand is when it's going to trigger even uh, more. So quick wrap up uh, what was discussed for uh, new players. Uh, you want to focus on getting Scavenger, Orb Greed, and Dragon Burst when you're starting so that you can really get your mind going and start destroying the blocks that you need it. Scavenger is what's going to get your fortune and efficiency and spending past 300 is just going to cost more orbs than you need to. You can, it'll go faster, but you're going to get savings anyway at buy it at 300 and you will be max it out where scavenger will then just be useless once it's done so keeping it on the low is still good but 300 is a good threshold and then have an even breakdown from five for orb greed and 10 for dragon burst and after 300 on scav just one to two which is still the same breakdown that you had before the more you mine the more orbs you're gonna get that's where you get the orbs and orb greed is gonna help you a lot with that one final tip that you can do as well is that you will need to level up your mine and so focusing on your mine is important but also getting your enchantments up as fast as possible is great so one final thing that you can check out that might help you a lot is mine list you'll see other people that have other mines that are at a lot higher of a level you might want to ignore the ones that are taxed but basically any of the ones that have a higher mine won't level up your mine but if you drag and burst on theirs at level 100 when yours is level 20 your orb greed is going to give you a lot more orbs than that you do lose your chance on leveling up your mind, but you are going to 
gain more orbs to level your pickaxe sooner so that when you go back to your mine at some point you're going to be able to do a lot more to it so always take a look at that there's always some that are of higher value this is a mine level 100 you got 92 that's not so bad 99 that's not so bad and there's always like even though there's a lot of people that are probably mining there as well it's going to give you a lot of progress that you can have with regards to getting extra orbs so just a quick tip on that lots of people hate it because then they're like oh well now it's going to take longer for your mine but because you've enchanted your pickaxe and you've boosted it so much more somewhere else that's given you more efficiency on your orbs you'll be able to go through your mine a lot faster and gain yourself a lot more levels much more quickly that's just a tip for me i hope that this gives you enough information to get you moving forward and actually enjoying what op legends has to offer with neptune prisons so check it out let us know in the comments if you're still having some difficulty if there's more information you'd like with regards to the mine with regards to gangs we can go into more detail but i figured especially with all the questions in my own chat during the live sessions which i do on a regular basis so check me out during that time yeah i just figured this would be a good start for people and getting information from top players that have already been like they're well ahead of me and even have uh, rebirth which is the new uh, option that's been provided on the server this is a good start it'll get you going and then there's other goals that you can focus on like getting seeing if you can get a lot of beacons and trade it for credits or get some keys and trade that for credits there's just so much things you can do uh, even outside of the top uh, rebirth top rank and so on top gang yeah so hope this helped you out hope you liked the video don't forget to like and subscribe keep that notification bell on and let us know what we can help you with next but otherwise have yourselves a good day have yourselves a good night and we'll talk to you later bye yeah